Welcome back here at the South Point Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I'm joined by Dylan Foreman of the 9-2 Pacific Lutheran Lutes, who uh, uh, get two victories here. And I was looking at the online newspaper, and I found a quote I liked about the team. It says, uh, somebody wrote about them, they're not a perfect family, but they're a hardworking family. So you wrote that. I so did. tell me what you mean. I mean, I've always thought a team isn't someone that's all goody-goody and two-shoes with each other. It's some, someone that can hold someone a camel, get angry at someone, and be competitive with someone, make them be the best version of themselves they can be. And that's not always uh, patting them on the back, saying good job. Sometimes it's holding them a camel and getting in their face, telling them to be a better player and a better teammate. That's well, kind of what I meant by that. Well, we saw that here tonight. Particularly, I was impressed by... All right, you guys are in control of the game against Wisconsin Stout. It felt like the whole way, but certainly most of the second half. The other players come on the floor, and they work the same system. They work just as hard. Uh, you know, guys who are much deeper in the rotation, very impressed by the effort uh, throughout. Talk to me about what practice is like for this team, because Coach Dickerson and you guys have an interest. You, you run almost – you run as close as you can get in the modern college basketball era to running the shot, to, to playing without a shot clock. You run it down to three or four seconds every time, but somehow you manage to get a quality shot off every single time. How does that work? So coaches instilled uh this idea called push patience. So you, we want to push the ball up the court so we can get up in five seconds or less. But if we don't have a quick shot, we got to pull it out and make sure we get something good. Because uh, at this level, every possession counts. And um, we have good guards. We have good bigs to make the right passes. So we know we're going to get a good shot every time. So if we push it down, we get something easy, that's great. But if not, we pull it out and get something going. Practice, we do a bunch of 5 on 0, 5 on 5, full court stuff to help kind of instill what we do uh, in games. Has the change with the shot clock made any difference for you guys this year? You're one of the few teams I think I've seen where having five fewer seconds to work down on the clock, you'd probably, given the choice, you'd probably keep those five seconds. Yeah, I mean, last year, what you saw this game was a lot we did last year. Normally, we actually don't like to play until, like, the last five seconds. Normally, we like to get a quicker shot. With credit Wisconsin Stout for kind of holding us holding us in transition and making us try to work the ball around to find something good. But um, that just comes back to the patience part of our push patience idea where we're just trying to get the best shot possible. And second half, we had trouble with that. But overall, because um, of our guards and our bigs, we're able to get a good shot almost every time we get down the court. Well, you guys shot 55% in the first half, and you were on fire. You were four for five from behind the arc. This gym, folks who have watched any of the broadcasts know it's an odd backdrop for yeah. Division Three basketball. You've yeah. got a black curtain on one side, which I guess is trying to simulate kind of the wall that you would have in an arena. But then the far backdrop where I'm pointing, what you really have is a restaurant. Yeah. But you have a very deep, yeah. deep vantage point. Didn't seem to affect you in the first half. What's that like as a shooter? Is there anything, is it hard to shoot here? And is there anything to the notion that the, the side with the backdrop is easier to shoot on than the side with the saloon? Well, it is tough, and I think our coach made sure we wanted to get a lot of minutes on this on this hoop so we could get used to it. But also, I mean, a lot of my shots were coming off great assists, so I had time to gather and focus. And back, weird backdrop or not, I'm still able to see the rim, and uh, off the great feet, I'm able to get a good shot off. So you guys are now 9-2. and two. You had eight wins all of last season. Yeah. What's the difference? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, our, a lot of our personnel, we didn't graduate many last year. It's a lot of the same. It's just a different style of play. I mean, like I said, we're pushing the ball better. We're uh, offensively, we're getting better shots. Everyone coming back from last year got better offensively. Brandon Lester, Bryce Miller, uh, and the, the transfer, uh, Jared Christie. I mean, he's been a huge lift for us. I got better. Everyone got stronger. I mean, all that just kind of culminates to everyone playing better offensively and defensively. We're uh, holding teams to lower field goal percentages than we did last year. And uh, with our great offense and great defense, it's it's uh, three, 180 degrees turnaround from last year. Yeah. So you've got uh, you know you you shot particularly well here today. You've been pretty much a starter from the moment you arrived on campus. Yeah. You've had 35, 36 games, 34 starts. How is the season different for you? Well. We were winning, so that's a nice difference. Uh, <laughs> I mean, anytime you have a team that's winning, it's always much more enjoyable. Last year, I mean, it was great to have a, a big role on the team, but I would have traded, I would have traded a bench job to get For a few more wins. Oh, yeah, a lot more wins. Yeah, but um, I mean, these group of guys is great. Like I said, we're a family in the sense that we work hard in practice, we hold each other accountable. We're not always the best of friends, but we we make each other better each and every practice and off the court too. So what's Coach Dickerson like? I get sort of a, almost like a Greg Popovich vibe from him when you do those, you know, those kind of quick hit Craig Saver interviews. We interviewed him at the half. 
he said something to the effect of, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. So the follow-up question is, what's that? And he said, I don't want to get too technical. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's he like on the court? What's he like in practice? Practice, he... Practice. He usually he he, he try, He's trying really hard this year to be really calm and not yell at anyone. He's a yeller. Last year he was a yeller. This okay. year, this year at games you see him yelling okay. a lot. He'll get up and down. He'll get pissed off about the smallest things. But that's yeah. what a good coach does. I right. mean, they're always trying to coach and make you better. If you're ahead by 20 or down by 20, right. he does a great job. At, and the assistant coaches as well uh, do a good job of holding us accountable. Even if we do something small wrong that we don't think is important, they're on our cases about it so that we can next possession we can make ourselves better and Dickinson's kind of the head of the ship in that case is nothing nothing's ever perfect and right. it shouldn't be because uh, there's always something to correct well th I'll mention them since they're standing about 55 feet in front of us Whitworth has been the top team in this conference they're warming up they're gonna play Calvin here uh, I don't know if you're gonna hang out and watch them I suspect your coaching staff probably will what will it take to knock them off they're good, and I mean, they're just as good as last year. They didn't lose many people. I mean, they are the team to be. I, mean, I don't think we beat them in 15 years, but I think. Wow. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a stat. Yeah. But, um, they, I mean, they're a great team. Each each one of their players has something to bring to the core, and if we're going to beat them, we have to bring our A game. But I think this year would be the year to beat them with the personnel and the improvement that we've had this year. And, our starting off 9-2, and two, I think, has boosted our confidence. So I think when we meet them for the first time in uh, January, I think it'll be a good matchup. So we'll get you out of here on this. You've played basketball. What else will you do here in Las Vegas this weekend? I imagine you're not leaving tonight. What was, so what non-basketball things will you have a chance to do while you're here? Well, we're leaving tomorrow morning. So I think uh, most of the teams trying to go to the Strip and uh, enjoy all the 21 and under things to do. Okay. Yeah. Yes, athletic ad administration, they will be safe. Yeah. No gambling, no drinking, none of that. A bunch of clean fun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Vegas Strip. Uh, maybe New York, New York, if we're lucky, but uh, yet to be seen. You can have good clean fun there. We did last night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, uh, well, more than fun wins for Pacific Lutheran here uh, this weekend at the South Point Arena. For the D3 Hoops Classic, I am Gordon Mann.